Welcome to the mysterious world of butterflies and moths, where beauty meets cunning and nature's most delicate creatures are armed with some of the wildest defense mechanisms on earth. Today, we'll explore the crazy, ingenious ways these fragile insects survive against a world of predators. You're about to discover that what seems like a peaceful flutter through the air is actually a battle of wits and evolution. Let's start with the flight of these remarkable creatures. Ever tried to follow a butterfly's path with your eyes? It's nearly impossible. This isn't just random, it's a carefully evolved technique. The zigzag, unpredictable flight pattern confuses predators, making it incredibly difficult for birds and other predators to predict where they'll land next. In fact, butterflies are masters of misdirection. Their flight is more than just pretty, it's pure survival. Now, let's talk about one of the most well-known butterflies, the monarch. These vibrant orange and black beauties aren't just flaunting their colors for fun. Those bright colors are a warning sign, a big flashing signal to predators saying, back off, I'm toxic. Monarchs feed on milkweed plants during their caterpillar stage, absorbing chemicals that make them taste terrible. One bite, and predators quickly learn not to mess with them. It's a brilliant defense strategy, scare predators away before they even take a shot. Imagine being a bird, expecting a delicious snack, only to end up with a mouthful of something so bitter you can't even swallow. That's the experience predators have when they try to eat a monarch. But here's where things get interesting, other butterflies have caught on to this trick. They mimic the monarch's color patterns to trick predators into thinking they're just as toxic. It's called Batesian mimicry, a fascinating example of how evolution turns survival into a high-stakes game of deception. Butterflies aren't just pretty, they're strategic. Mimicry is like playing a dangerous game of fake it till you make it. Some species, like the viceroy, have evolved to look almost identical to the monarch, despite being completely harmless. Predators, wary of a bad meal, avoid them entirely. It's a genius move, why develop your own defense when you can just copy someone else's? But mimicry goes even deeper than that. Some butterflies, like the female Papilio polyxenes, can change their appearance based on the threats around them. In some environments, they mimic toxic species to ward off predators. In others, they resemble non-toxic males to avoid unwanted attention from aggressive males. This shape-shifting ability is like having multiple disguises in a single wardrobe. Nature's fashion, with a deadly twist. And then there's intimidation. Some butterflies have evolved the perfect scare tactic, eye spots. At first glance, these spots might seem like nothing more than decoration. But to a small predator, they look like the eyes of a much larger, more dangerous animal. When a bird swoops in for the kill, it hesitates, thinking it's about to attack something far bigger. It's a clever bluff, buying the butterfly precious seconds to make its escape. Not all butterflies and moths rely on bold colors and intimidation. Some take a quieter approach, disappearing into their surroundings like ghosts. Camouflage is a powerful defense in the natural world, and these insects are masters of disguise. From blending into tree bark to resembling dead leaves, they can vanish right in front of predators' eyes. When standing out would mean certain death, blending in becomes their most powerful tool. Now, let's switch gears to moths, the nocturnal counterparts of butterflies. While butterflies are often seen as symbols of beauty, moths are the stealthy, night-dwelling survivors of the insect world. And when the lights go out, their biggest enemy isn't birds, it's bats. But moths have evolved their own set of defenses against these formidable predators. Some moths have long tails on their wings that serve a surprising purpose. These tails confuse the echolocation of bats, throwing off their ability to target the moth's body accurately. The result? Bats end up attacking the tails instead of the moth itself, giving the moth a chance to escape unharmed. It's an elegant solution to the relentless pursuit of one of nature's best hunters. Other moths take it a step further by developing what can only be described as soundproofing. Their wings are covered with tiny scales that absorb sound, making them nearly invisible to bats' echolocation. These moths have turned themselves into stealth aircraft, gliding silently through the night without a trace. And if you thought that was impressive, get ready for this, some moths actively jam a bat sonar. By producing rapid clicking sounds, they interfere with the bat's ability to locate them. It's like having a built-in sonar jammer, disorienting their predator just long enough to make a clean getaway. And, as we mentioned before, some moths create these clicks using their genital valves, a survival tactic that's both bizarre and brilliant. In the animal kingdom, survival often comes down to who can outsmart who. Bats might have the advantage of echolocation, but moths have evolved to turn that advantage into a weakness. The battle between predator and prey is a never-ending arms race, with both sides constantly adapting. In this case, moths have found a way to level the playing field by disrupting one of nature's most sophisticated hunting tools. But moths and butterflies don't rely on just one trick to survive. 
their arsenal of defenses is as varied as their species. From chemical warfare to visual deception, they have developed an extraordinary range of strategies to outweat their enemies. Each species has its own unique approach, fine-tuned by millions of years of evolution. Take, for instance, butterflies with iridescent wings. These creatures appear to shimmer and change color depending on the angle of the light. To a predator, this sudden flash of color can be disorienting, causing hesitation just long enough for the butterfly to escape. It's a dazzling yet functional defense mechanism, proving once again that beauty in the natural world often serves a purpose beyond aesthetics. Interestingly, butterflies' defenses don't stop once they've matured into winged adults. Even in their earlier stages, they're armed for survival. Caterpillars of certain species, like the monarch, eat toxic plants like milkweed, absorbing the toxins into their own bodies. This not only protects them as caterpillars but also stays with them as they metamorphose into butterflies, turning them into toxic adults ready to fend off predators. The transformation from caterpillar to butterfly is one of nature's most remarkable processes. But even during this vulnerable stage, they're not without defenses. Some species create hard, spiny chrysalises that are difficult for predators to crack open. Others rely on their ability to remain motionless and blend into their surroundings, effectively disappearing until they're ready to emerge as fully developed butterflies. And let's not forget chemical warfare. Butterflies and moths are known to release pheromones, chemical signals that can serve a variety of purposes, from attracting mates to warding off potential threats. In some cases, the chemicals they release are toxic or foul-smelling, ensuring that predators think twice before making a meal out of them. Whether through speed, mimicry, toxins, or stealth, butterflies and moths have proven time and again that they are far more than fragile creatures. They are survivors, equipped with a dizzying array of defenses that rival even the most dangerous predators. So the next time you see one of these beautiful insects flutter by, remember, there's a lot more going on beneath those delicate wings than meets the eye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the wild defenses of butterflies and moths, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more incredible stories from the animal kingdom. See you next time on Asterisk True Facts.